Have you stopped for pregnancy? Yes, sir. Okay, it is twins I'm saying that twins. One where one. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes. Twenty-eight years. Twenty-eight years. Oh. You have you have been in marriage for twenty-eight years. Twenty-eight years now. Twenty-eight years. 28 years. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Just worship his holy name. Hallelujah. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is, he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. All glory, glory must be to the Lord. 
He touched my life with his sense. My life changed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He touched my life with his sense. My life changed. Are you ready for that touch? He touched my life with his sense.
worship you. I lift my hands. My hands. I lift my voice. I lift my voice. Oh, oh, oh. 
offering. Open your mouth and worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Open your mouth and begin to say something sweet to him. Wave those hands to him. Hallelujah. Has anybody ever told you? Have you ever heard? Has anybody ever told you that this is your day? Hallelujah. Amen. Gentle thanks for Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. He's the Alpha and Omega. The omnipotent, the omniscience, the omnipresent God. The I am that I am, a changeable changer. The God that is strong and mighty in battle. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The only true God. The only true God. Just wipe your hands and say thank you, Jesus, for the grace you have given to me. To say the first day of the God of Solution 2018 is a privilege. It's not because you are so good, but it's because God loves us and His grace has kept us. Hallelujah! Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us a victory. That's why I sing, oh, Syria. Have you heard what my God has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given me a victory. That's why I sing. Oh, Serie. Oh, Serie. You know, we know. Oh, Serie. Oh, you know, we know. Oh, you know, we know. Oh, it's Jesus.
Jump up and shout hallelujah. I don't like the way you are shouting hallelujah. Because this arena is already filled with the glory of God. As you are standing now, anything can happen. This is God of solution. I'd like you to jump up and shout hallelujah. This is a vision given to my papa, Senior Pastor Pia Alabasaki, to change the story of your life, to bring solution over that impossibility in your life. And that is why it's titled Possibility 2018. I prophesy upon everyone this hour. Anything that has been impossible in your life, right here, right here, at the God of Solution. You shall receive solution to in the name of Jesus. Solution shall be given to you in this God of solution. If I hear your amen, it begin from you. If I hear your amen, solution begin from you. Listen, people of God. This is possibility 2018. Forget what you have been passing through in the past. Forget about your defeat, failure of 2017. This 2018, God will begin to use you as an example of the testimony this year. God will use you as an example of the testimony this year. God will use you. God will use you. God will use you. I say God will use you. You are the one God will use. You are the one God will use. You are the one God will use. Somebody jump up and shout hallelujah. God of solution is a period where God wiped the tears of so many people. And God of solution is a time where the God silent enemy over your life. Where God content with power that say you never have solution in your life. I speak upon your life today. Any power that says you will never have that solution. Holy God! The power of darkness that have come to law over your solution at this solution hour. The God of Pastor Pia and Pasake is going to remove that power far from you in the name of Jesus. Shout Jehovah my God. I can't hear your voice. I don't like the way you are shouting at all. Shout Jehovah my God. Every Satan in my life. That follow me to this solution ground. Don't hinder my solution. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Ah! Open your mouth and begin to command them out. Command them out. Command them out. Every evil escort. Every 
every evil eyes call every monetary power any evil ganja evil installation evil satellite monetary you are this got the solution wherever they are let the fire of God consume them let the fire of God consume them they may not be here they may be somewhere else. viewing you to evil manipulation every center that follow me here to the God of solution 2018 to heed up my expectation to heed up my solution Solution to hinder your pollution. I did call the solution. Kazama, Kazama, Kazama. I like you to pray at this hour. Wherever you are, anywhere you are standing, it is better to flow because something is happening already. Ah, if you can't cast them out, you cannot get your solution. They will distract you. They will sit upon you. You will not hear from God. Open your mouth right now. Whatever that follow you, from your father's side, from your mother's side, from your village, every monetary power that have come to hinder your solution. Cast them out. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. Listen to me. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. When you read from our city, it said the weapon of our welfare, they are not carnal. Tell your neighbor, don't be carnal in your prayer. Say neighbor, don't be carnal in your prayer. If you must be fool, with the power of God and the weapon of the Holy Spirit, you need to surrender. You need to connect. Tell your neighbor, don't be carnal. White prayer is going on. Don't play with Satan. Cast them out. When you read from verse 4, it says, Casting down all imagination and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Listen to me, people. Oh God, there are things that have been exalting themselves against the will of God in your life. Is that not true? One of them is barrenness. Another one is poverty. Another one is sickness. Another one is disappointment. Another one is rising and falling. So many, many, many things that is exalting themselves against the knowledge of God in your life. Are you ready to send them to where they belong? I'm only hearing few people. If you are not here to receive, whether you have your faith or not, this is God's solution. You are going to go home with a solution. Say, Jehovah, my God, every power that I've come to contend with my solution, contend with that, contend with that and give me solution, contend with that and give me solution. Open your mouth and pray this prayer. Every power that I've come to contend with my solution in this program, contend with that, contend with that, contend with that, contend with that. Open your mouth. Every power that I've come to contend with solution, God has proposed for me. In this program, Lord, contend with that. Contend with that. Contend with that. Contend with this power. 
Come down with that. Come down with that law and give me my solution. Come down with that and give me my solution. Come down with that and give me my solution. Come down with that and give me my solution. Thank you, Holy Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout the God of Pastor Piano Pasake. Give me a turn around this year. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Give me a turn around in my life this year. Give me a turn around. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like that in that dream. Give me a turn around. A turn around. A turn around this year. A turn around. In my life. In my marriage. In my career. In my heart. In my business. A turn around this year. Do not forsake me, O Lord. Do not forsake me, O Lord. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Lift your two hands to heaven. Receive a turn around in your head. The ladders your amen, the quicker it manifests in your life. Receive a turn around in your head. Receive a turn around in your ministry. Receive a turn around in your family house. Receive a turn around in your jaw. Receive a turn around in your world. Every area you need a turn around. The God of Pastor Pierre of Basaka is turning the end around for your good. He's turning the end around for your good. Lift up your hand and shout, Amen, seven Amen. 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 More grace, everybody. We, the Women Choir of Divine Grace Glory Church, we have only one special number to read out your name. Listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. Ogyo de nego, ye me gire ne, ope nu ke ti me o, gire ne nu do do lo magoji, ope na ke ku ano. Ogyo de nego. Give me your name.
has come. Amen. Amen. Shall we rise up now? Innovation, we want to welcome the servant of God. He's already here. I want you to celebrate God. He's here, he's here. The servant of God carries the anointing of God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Something is happening. What can't you do? Hey, what can't you do? Yahweh. Name above every other name. Name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? Child of God, shout hallelujah. People of God, shout a wonderful hallelujah. If God of Solution 2020-18 is your program, shout a wonderful hallelujah. This 2018, you will not labor in vain. Because you attend the God of Solution 2018, everyone shall tell you congratulations. Amen. I bless you all. Amen. Grace be unto you all. Amen. Happy New Year to you all. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. People of God shout, this is, my year. this is my year. This year, you will be counted among those that succeed. This year, 2018, no matter what happened to you in 2017, because God has spared your life to enter 2018, and you're already in it, you will be counted among those that God has favored this year. Remember, every year is for someone. Last year was, was for some people. But this year is for someone like you. This is the year your life has been waiting for. And nothing will stop your answer this year. Say to yourself, this is my year of answer. I bless you all. In Jesus name. Amen. Shall we be seated? Today is the first day you are joining us. The Lord bless you or coming to Divine Grace of Glory Church. I want to say you are welcome. I bless you. The mercy of God be there for you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout with us to our feet. Say this prayer. Because everyone present in this God of Solution has a situation. I have a situation. You have a situation. That situation needs God's attention. And only God can handle that situation. If you could handle that situation on your own, you would not come here to look for God. Everyone here today came here to look for God, to seek for God. And now, wherever you are, lift up your voice. Jehovah, my God, speak to my situation in this God of solution. Jehovah my God, speak to my situation in this God of solution. Shall we open our mouth to pray? Speak to my situation. Speak to my situation. Speak to my situation. Jehovah my God, speak to my situation. Jehovah my God, speak to my situation in this solution. 
in this God of solution, speak to my situation, Jehovah my God. Speak to my situation, oh God. Jehovah my God, I need a solution. Speak to my situation, in this God of solution. Speak to my situation, speak to my situation, Jehovah my God. Speak to my situation, I need your voice over my situation. Speak to my situation, Jehovah my God. In speak. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Father, speak to every situation that we attend this God of solution. Amen. Every stubborn situation, let them hear the voice of God. Amen. Every stubborn situation in any area of their lives, let those situations bow to the word of God. Amen. Because this program is a divine revelation, Lord, by you to meet the need and bring about solution in every area of lives to everyone under the influence of the program. Lord, let your angel begin to attend to every situation present here right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Sit down as you pick your Bible. As we go to the book of Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter 19. Are you there? Verse 41. God is going to do specific things in every individual's life in this crusade and you will have your blessings to count Luke 19 41 I take it from here and when he was come near he beheld the city and wept over it saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace but now they are hid from the eyes holy father reveal yourself to everyone hearing me now through this word in jesus name amen the title of my message is this says, Jehovah my God, open my eyes. Somebody prophesied that to yourself. Jehovah my God, open my eyes. Jehovah my God, open my eyes. You have come to the crucial aspects for which you have came to the God of solution. Until your eyes are open. You can never change your position. Please listen. I may not shout, but the Spirit of God is going to make sense through me to your life this day. Until your eyes are open, you can never change your position. B. Revelations gives birth to ideas. Follow me up. C. Until your eyes are open, you will never know what God has made available for you to enjoy. The A blind person does not enjoy life. A blind person does not enjoy life. E. Until your eyes are open, you can't see beyond where you are. Until your eyes are open, you can't see beyond where you are. You will only be seeing where you are. You can't see the future. A blind person is already half dead. One who is blind is already half dead. What is the meaning of blindness? Blindness means to be blind means 
to deprive of sight. For one to be blind means to deprive of sight. You cannot see anything. And once you close your eye, you live in darkness. You can't see anything. You only hear sound. You can't enjoy life that way. These days, ladies and gentlemen, I am not talking about physical blindness. But I am talking about spiritual blindness. You cannot only be blind in your eyes. Many are blind in their mind. Many are blind in their spirit. They can see nothing. Therefore, they live life just as that. They have no hope. They have no purpose because everything about them is blind. It is revelation that opens you up to your breakthrough. And that is why the Lord said, as you pass this message to everyone, present this very first day of the God of Solution Crusade 2018, that your eyes need to be open. Somebody shout, Jehovah my God, open my eyes. Jehovah my God, open my eyes. Where we read in the scripture, Luke chapter 19, verse 31, the Bible said, and when he, Jesus was come near. He beheld the city and wept over it. Jesus was going to Jerusalem. He behold the city of Jerusalem. He shook his head and tears dropped from his eye. Why? In Jerusalem, a great nation, people who were suffering there were more than those that were enjoying God's blessings. Many who were in bondage, they were more than those that were in freedom. Many who were tired, who were wretched, who were frustrated, they were more than those who were living life to the fullest. When Jesus looked at Jerusalem, he said, Oh, these people are in trouble. Their eyes are blind. That is why they are in this situation. If their eyes were open, they would not be in this condition they are. Because this land is a land full of blessing. It's a land full of opportunity. It's a land full of success. It's a land full of solution. But their eyes are blind. You hear me? After this meeting, wherever you find yourself, God will open your eye. You will possess your possession. Every area you have been blind. Every area you are blind in life. You have been blind spiritually. Every area your heart has been blind. Your mind has been blind. Today, God will give you your divine revelation from now. Somebody shout, Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. I need my eyes to be open so that I know God's plan for me. Then I can achieve it. Listen, this word is not for some people. It's for everyone. If you see anyone that is better and greater than you now, there is something that person discovered. There is something that person's eye is open to that helped that person to be greater than you. You need to discover something as well. Your eye needs to be open so that your position can be changed. Somebody shout, I am ready. And those who are ready, they are well at your eyes short. Somebody shout, I am ready. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says, and when Jesus saw Jerusalem, he wept over Jerusalem because of people who were there, who are supposed to live life to the fullest, but they were living life in shambles. First point I bring out there in Luke chapter 19, verse 31. He said, And when he was come near, now I bring out this point. One, come nearer. Come what? Nearer. Everyone that must live life to the fullest must come nearer to Jesus Christ. People of God, when you come nearer to Jesus Christ, that is the beginning of your true life. When you come nearer to Jesus Christ, that is the beginning of the glorious life that God has destined you to live in this world. Come nearer. When Jesus came nearer to Jerusalem, he behold, until you come nearer, you can never see where from afar. 
until you come nearer you can't see well from afar there are many of us who are far away from me now you cannot see my eyeball very well because it's a distance when you come closer to me you will see me very well there is something that will bless your life you have not been able to picturize for a long time even in your mind you will not be able to picturize it listen after now the lord is going to give you a divine revelation as you come closer to him he will give you a divine revelation your coming closer to him is coming to the god of solution 2018 and that is the first step people of god from now you will live a life of revelation everywhere that you were blinded your spiritual eyes shall be open your physical eyes shall be open somebody shout hallelujah come nearer the bible says in john chapter 7 verse 37 jesus cried out he said if anyone thirsts, let it come unto me and receive the water of life let it come unto me you task for greatness you task for fruitfulness you task for breakthrough you task for divine intervention you task for solution come nearer to jesus christ he is the author and the finisher of the faith of those that look unto him of those that come nearer unto him and that is why today people of god as you come close to jesus christ you will experience his merciful favor the bible says in matthew chapter 11 verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and with a heavy laden and i will give you rest jesus is the only one that can give you that rest from that trouble from that stressless that you think all over the night you can't get the idea you can't get the revelation that will change your story no the time has come for you to get the actual revelation that your life requires. the time has come for you to get the actual vision your destiny requires. the time has come for you to get the actual revelation that will put you forward in life the time has come for you to get the revelation that will make people know that you are a child of god the time has has come for you to get the revelation that will settle you in life the time has come for you to get the revelation that will put you on the right channel the time has come for you to get the revelation that will open doors for you the time has come for you to get the revelation that will change your level in life the time has come for you to get the revelation that will bring you out of that condition and place you on a better ground the time has come for you to get the revelation that will open doors that were closed for many years that doors that were not open for your father that door that were not open for your mother that door that will not open for your uncle that door that will not open for your family members the time has come for you to experience divine opening of that door somebody shout i am ready the time has come 2018 is the time for you to get the revelation somebody shout i will get the revelation listen everyone life is all about revelation when you are blinded in life you can gain any achievement you'll be struggling a blind man is a struggling man when you are blind in life you will always be asking for help 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 a blind man is always asking for help if a blind man get up on his own to try to move either he hit the wall or he fall for the step unless he is helped there are many here you have always been looking for help 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 why because somewhere in life you have been blinded yes the lord said the time has come for him to remove the veil of your eyes for you to know the right thing to do that will take you to the top for you to take the right step that will take you to the top every area you have been blinded in life the lord said by his spirit in this god of solution he is going to remove that veil out of your eye somebody shout you are talking to me you are no longer going to live a life of fly and error try and error no you are going to live life to the fullest because the appointed time has come the time of god's favor has come the time of god's liberation for your life has come the time that god has ordained for him to attend to you has come somebody shout this year is my year god will not pass a message that will not be for some that, that will not be for somebody there is somebody here that God is ministering to. And you will never leave this God of solution who say the same way you came. Somebody shout, Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. Have someone ever look at you and shake his head? 
Somebody look at you, look at you, look at you. And the person shook his head. He said, oh, this person. This person is not supposed to be like this. Why is this person like this? Yes, that person looking at you, shaking his head. There is something great he sees in your life. But that greatness is not manifesting. Why? You are blinded somewhere. That greatness is not manifesting. You are not supposed to be like this. Just like many years ago, many years ago, over 25 years ago, when I was in Ibadan, when I was working as a condu bus conductor, bus conductor, eh? when I would dress up, I dress very neat, I begin to do conductor. When the passengers enter the vehicle, they look at me, they begin to shake their head. They say, but some will open their mouth, some women say, ah, but oh God, this is not the work you are supposed to do. This work you are doing is not your work. You are more than this work. But then, things were rough. But there's deep greatness in me. That is not where I am supposed to be. But I cannot change it by force. There is a revelation I need to turn that situation. When I actually got the revelation, my story changed. Listen, from now, you will catch the revelation that will change your life. From now, every man present here today, every woman here, every boy, every girl, you will catch the revelation that will change your life. You will catch the revelation that will put you on the right platform. Somebody shout, you are talking to me. There are many here, the Lord said to me, he said there are many who will be present in this God of Solution who are tired of their situation. They are tired, but they don't know what to do. The Lord said, said God, what is going to happen? He said, I am going to remove the veil that covered their revelation. And everywhere they were blinded in life, I will now remove that blindness, I will make them to see once you see you can take the right step once your eyes open you can take the right step once your eyes open you can do the right thing once your eyes open you can go to the right place once your eyes open you can become a beginning from now i command your eye to be open to your revelation now i command your eye to be open to your breakthrough now I command your eye to be open to your greatness now. I command your eye to be open to your success now. I command your eye to be open to your prosperity now. I command your eye to be open to your fruitfulness now. Somebody say, Jehovah, my God, open my eyes. Now you are getting the message. When your eyes open, you can't see that in one place. Have you ever seen a beggar? Beggar. Beggars are always in one place when there is no supporter. You know that? Beggars are always in one place when there is no supporter. You will sit down in one place, sit down in one place. That is where they will stay for money till night. I mean, beggars who are blind, they're blind men, I mean, people who are blind physically. They are always in one place from money to night until there is a helper. Until somebody come and say, I tell the person's hand, I say, come, let us go. Without helper, they remain there for years. Without helper, they remain there for decades. Without helper, their lives are wasted. Without helper, their destinies are wasted. Without helper, they get rusticated until someone come and say, let us go. As the person begins to take them along, they begin to use stick to touch ground that way anyone here whose life has been like that from now i pull you out from that condition have you ever seen them when the beggar is going when somebody is helping them they begin to use stick to talk around this way have you seen them before so many who are present here today your life was once like that before you came here today but the lord said as i pass the message to you now beginning from now every area you were blinded that blindness disappeared that blindness disappeared that blindness disappeared that blindness disappeared. That blindness disappeared. That blindness disappeared. As I touch your head, your eyes shall be open. That blindness disappeared. That blindness disappeared. That blindness disappeared. That every area you were blinded in life, beginning from now, that blindness disappeared. 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 Every area. You look like a blind man, like a blind woman. That blind
darkness disappear as you drop your seed on this altar where I am standing. I touch your head. That blindness disappear. 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 Somebody saw Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. You need your life to be open. Listen, you are not leaving this crusade. You might have been attending programs before. The Lord said to me, He is going to open the eyes of thousands of people in this crusade. The Lord said, Even the anointing water He has put in my hand to give to you in this crusade. He said, As you apply it, you will begin to get revelations. Amen. Every area your eyes were blinded. Open. The Lord said, From now, your eyes shall be open from now. Amen. As you drop your seed in this altar, Amen. as I touch your head now, your eyes shall be open from now. Amen. 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 Every area you were blinded. Yes. Hey, I command your eyes to be open. Amen. 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 I command your eyes to be open. I command your eyes to be open. I command your eyes to be open. You will get that revelation. Amen. Your eye be open. Yes. Your eye be open. Be your open. eye be open. Be open. Your eye 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 be open. Every area you were blinded. Every area you were blinded. Wherever the enemy have blinded you. I command your eye to be open. I command your eye to be open. I command your eye be open. I command your eye be open. 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 Kabara Zataya Baskantaya. Every area your life has been like a blind man. Every area you have been wondering, you are wondering like a blind man in life. Every area you have been wondering, like a blind man in life, beginning from now, I command your eye to be open. I command your eye to be open. As you connect this altar with your seed, I command your eye to be open. 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 Somebody shout Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. 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 As God open your eye, He will also open the right people's eye to locate you. People that your destiny is tied to. People your destiny is connected to. God will open their eye to locate you as well. In this God of solution, the Lord will open their eyes to locate you now. Open my eye. Open my eye. Kaba si tuli azata ya mahaskataya. We bow there.
Wherever you are, start to your feet. Kari lahi azato ribasi daria. Li mazu tari bahasato. He said, "Shout this after me, Jehovah my God." I'm not hearing you, Jehovah my God. Every area I I'll be blinded. Every area I be blinded. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open your mouth and pray now. Every area I've been living in darkness. Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Every my area eyes. be blinded spiritually. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Sit down. Let's see to reap a shakabaya. How many of us are ready for total turnaround this year in our lives? Lift up your right hand. And as you lift up that hand, may angel consecrate that hand for breakthrough. The louder your amen, the faster your own answer. Bring down your hand and sit down. Come here. Libro, Satan. Point number two. Behold the city. The Bible said in Luke 19, 41b, he said, and Jesus behold the city. He beheld the city and he wept. Listen. Many were seeing the city of Jerusalem as a place where no one can prosper. But Jesus saw greatness in that city. Hear me. There is so many of you. You are seeing where you are as a place where you cannot prosper. Listen, the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Never you see where you are as a place where you can prosper. Anywhere God place you in this world, see yourself as one that will be sent by God to dominate. See yourself as one that will be sent by God to possess. One that will be sent by God to acquire. One that will be sent by God to inherit. Because God said to Abraham, unto you and your children and your children's children shall I give this land to. That means you are the descendant of Abraham. So therefore, after now, wherever the soul of your feet shall tread upon you shall possess in the name of Jesus Christ those kind of life you have been living like a blind person in a life beginning from now in this solution ground in this God of solution crusade that stick of blindness that the enemy hope in your hand that stick you have used to get miserable in life that have been in your hand the angel of God is removing it out of your hand now as your eyes open in the name of Jesus you shall wander through life anymore. You shall wander no more through life. You shall go through life successful. You shall go through life breakthrough. You shall go through life increase. You shall go through life prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus sought opportunities in the land. But those that were living there did not see the opportunity. And that is why your eyes needs to be open. I said earlier, revelation brings ideas. Hear me? That idea that will change your life, that your eyes has not been opened to, beginning from now, by the Spirit of God, the Lord, by revelation, will give it to you in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord, by revelation, will give it to you in the name of Jesus. He will give it to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, Jehovah my God. Open my eyes. Do you remember in Genesis chapter 13? Abraham and Lot. Abraham and Lot. When Abraham called Lot, when Lot were misbehaving, Abraham said, Lot, there is no need for us to quarrel. Let us divide the land. Look at the land. Look at the right. Look at the west. The east, not now. 
choose any part you like lord look at the side that was greenish that was good lord choose that side abraham choose the desert listen let's say to them abraham walked into the desert the bible say and abraham built an altar in there and he prayed unto god and god prospered abraham in that desert more than lot lord that took the land that was so flourish but abraham in desert why because god opened abraham's eyes wherever you are in any part of the world my god shall open your eye to succeed i said my god shall open your eye to succeed i don't know what you are doing for a living any career that god has committed you to whatever vision god has given to you that your eyes have been blinded you don't know how to go about it that gift you desire beginning from now receive it in your spirit in the name of jesus that gift you desire to succeed in your career receive it in your spirit in the name of jesus in genesis 26 genesis 26 the bible says god appeared to isaac huh? god appeared to isaac everybody were running out of egypt and god said to isaac now don't run go down together go down together and plant it was difficult for everyone and god appeared to isaac that means god opened isaac's eye to know that if he stays in Gara, he will succeed. Hey, beginning from now, you have been praying. You want to see God in your dream. You want to see the angel of God in your dream. You want God to speak to you in your dream. You want God to give you that thing that will give you right, right direction in life. After this meeting now, my God shall visit you in your dreams. The same God that appeared to Isaac, the same God that spoke to Abraham, beginning from now, it shall appear to you to open your eyes. He will 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 open your eyes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Until your eyes are open, you can never live life to the fullest. Uh, until your eyes are open, you can never overtake anybody in life. Until your eyes are open, you can never be the talk of the people for good. Ladies and gentlemen, and when Isaac saw in Gara, God prosper Isaac. Everybody were complaining, but God prosper Isaac. Why? God opened his eye. He, everybody complaining because of the economy situation. And eh? listen from now, God is going to be involved in your matter. Because every other person, they live their life in blindness. But someone like you, hearing me right now, you will live your life in light. You will live your life this year in light. You will go to the right place at the right time. You will enter the right place at the right time. You will do the right journey at the right time. You will do the right business at the right time. You will do the right job at the right time. Beginning from now, you will get your right marriage at the right time. You will get pregnant at the right time. You will get your visa at the right time. This is your time because God has come to open your eyes. Somebody shout, you are talking to me. Luke 19 verse 41 C. Luke 19 41 C. The Bible says Jesus wept over it. Jesus wept over it. Why? Because the greatness of that city was hidden from the eyes of those who were living there. Every greatness that is hidden from your eyes, beginning from now, it shall be exposed to you. That's your answer that is hidden from your revelation. From now, it shall be exposed to you. The Lord said to me, there are many here. And when you pray, you pray, you pray. You want to see good sign in your dream. But that is the day you see the worst in your dream. You never see good things. But in those days, you dream very well. When you dream, it happened. When you dream, your dream guides you. Your dream directs you. But now, the reverse is the case. If they ask you, when last did you have a good dream? You will say many years ago. Listen, whatever the enemy has covered in your life, the Lord said from now, his angel is uncovering your eye in the name of Jesus. The Lord said to me, prepare a mantle. And that mantle, let it be given to everyone. On that mantle, write on it, Lord, open my eyes. He said, anyone that shall get that mantle and put on his or her eyes to pray from that day. From that day. Your eye will be open to those blessings that were hidden from your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
So by the grace of God, tomorrow that matter the Lord said, I want to bring it today. He said, No, there's a prayer is going to lead me to pray on it continuously this night. That after this night, I may give it out. Listen, everyone, tomorrow, get that matter, just put it in your eye. In fact, when you come here tomorrow and get that matter, do the service, you put your eye and pray. Many of you will see vision here tomorrow. Kali, Zatumaya. You will see people that put that matter in their eye. They begin to speak in tongues. You put that matter in your eye. Your eye will be open to things you never knew before. You put that matter in your eye. Every veil that covers your eye will disappear. Every manipulation will disappear. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, God is set to be on a journey with you this year. God is set to partner with you this year. You will never go on this journey alone. You will never go in this through this year alone. God will go with you this year. I say, God will go with you this year. God will go with you this year. God will go with you this year. Somebody give me a turn around. Hallelujah. Sit down. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Verse 46 to 52. There is a man called Blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus was a blind man. Because he was a blind man, he was only in one place. He sat down in one place from morning to night. Eh? In the evening, his family come to carry him to the house. Listen, there is one worst thing about blind beggars. Where you are a blind person in life. Eh? You are blind in life. Eh? Those who don't know how you suffer they will begin to eat they begin to use you and begin to enjoy what you are supposed to enjoy yes that is one thing that happened because you will always be where you are not supposed to be you will be in the wrong place why because you are blinded ladies and gentlemen i am angry because many destiny have been kidnapped many destiny have been caged many destiny have been covered have been oppressed because they are blinded for many years you are not supposed to be where you are now if your eye were open many years ago you are supposed to be graduating now to a better position now ladies and gentlemen beginning from now you are receiving your certificate of graduation Bartimaeus sat down and began to beg. Whenever people dash him money, put the money inside the cup, inside the cup, and that person whose eye can see will come here and take the money away from there. The blind man doesn't know what is happening, but people are dashing him money, and that person is taking it. You hear me? You have been blinded. Anyone that has been using your star to shine because you are blinded, because you have been blinded, anyone using your star to shine, they come to give you gifts because you cannot see. They give you gifts to enjoy your star because you cannot see. You cannot see beyond the physical you can't see beyond the natural they come to give you to collect from you spiritually let this and gentlemen beginning from now they shall be disappointed in your life Amen. every manipulation that have been disturbing your destiny because you have been blinded beginning from now that covenant manipulation i break it out of your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, thou spirit of blindness. I want to hear you louder, thou spirit of blindness. Upon my life, disappear, 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 disappear. Open your mouth and pray wherever you are. Pack your letter, go. But your Lord go, you spirit of planets, wherever you are present. Rata da 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 Good signs in my revelation. They never allow me to see my dream. They never allow me to see the glory of my future. You demon of manipulation. Cause the blindness of my spirit. Cause the blindness of me. They never allow me to know the right thing to do. I command you now. I command you now. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. If you pray that prayer, you are living here with freedom. If you pray that prayer, you are not living the way you came. You have been blinded for many years. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Every spirit of blinding, you spirit of blinding, you spirit of blindness over my life, over my destiny, 
over my marriage in Jesus name we pray amen 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 in Jesus name when your eyes open you won't where you are today a vein needs to drop out of your eyes for you to see what God has made available for you to enjoy you are just living life as if that is all about life there is a better life than the one you are living now this level you are is not your level you need to migrate out of this level by force and this is where the enemy wants you to remain for life what are you talking about because you came here with Camry car you meet God have settled you you are happy you are dancing where your maid are at the Prado Jeep ah because you build a house three bedroom flat that's why you are happy where your men are having muscles are you not in the same world with them the bible says it is the blessings of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow what are you talking about because you have five million naira you are using to, to do your business there are people who do business of hundred million naira who do business of billions of naira you can get to that level this is the level god is taking you to i said this is where god is taking you to I, I, this is where god is taking you to this is where god is taking you to I want to see everyone pray right now. Every spirit of blindness that has covered me, Amen. that never allow me to see my vision about my business, my about my career, about my ministry, my be disappeared from my life. Everyone with the holy anger, shout this louder. Just over my God. Over my God. The spirit of blindness. The spirit of blindness. Covering my life. Covering my life. Disappear. Jesus name this is your time I said this is your time amen I said this is your time amen listen you will hear a testimony from a brother here sometimes back a partner more CV partner here who had testimony say his business was very tight he's a car dealer his business was very tight he don't know what to do he will sit down for money till night he was having cars to sell but nobody was buying eh? there was an anointed oil that I gave to all the partners it was given to him but he locked it inside one of the car he forgot that the anointed oil was there the victory oil were there one day he was sitting down some of the car he sold grass has even grew under the car to cover the car because he was confused ladies and gentlemen one day he was in his office something moved him to get up he went to the car and began to clear he began to clear around the car as he opened his uh, the one of the doors something moved him go and open this car as he opened the car he opened the pigeon hole he saw victory anointing oil inside he took the oil he anointed the ground where his car stand is anointed everywhere there as he anointed it miraculously in the car that had been there for a long time under three days i think about three cars were clear yes sir under three or two days the cars were clear yes sir he said even the one that was almost condemned he thought nobody will buy it again they priced it more than the money he expected he sold everything they cleared everything but that victory and nothing oil has been inside that car for many months his eye were not open to read and he was complaining up and down he was crying what is happening to my business that was just one thing his eye needs to be open to the anointed oil given to him by the prophet we settled the case until his eyes were open that the anointing oil was in the pigeon hole after many months when he used it immediately miracle began 
when your eyes open to do the right thing instantly you don't say you are planning two years time to succeed somebody shout now 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 as we are talking now there are people who are connecting billions now yes sir. as we are talking now there are people who are connecting millions now hey there are people who are hitting opportunity now as we are talking now your case is not a different case yes sir you can't come to the presence of god and still remain blinded i decree upon your life i receive beginning from now mm -hmm. you are free from spiritual blindness hey, amen somebody saw jehovah my god jehovah my god Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. The blind Bartimaeus. Sit down, yeah. sit down. The blind Bartimaeus. When he was blind, they rise from bed. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, my guy did not keep quiet. He began to shout, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. Why? Blind Bartimaeus was blind in his two eyes. He was not blind in his voice. Blind Bartimaeus was blind in his two eyes. His strength was not weak. Blind Bartimaeus was blind in his two eyes. His legs were not blinded. He was blind in his two eyes, but he still used what he was not blinded about when it was time for his solution. People were telling him, keep quiet, but he stood up. He fell. He stood up. He fell. Nobody helped him. Hey, when you are blinded, no man may care about you, but that is God that cares about you. That is why you must get him by force blind Bartimaeus everybody were telling him your case is over there is no hope for you again your eye is to destroy there is nothing Jesus can do about it you are a blind man you are a hopeless man you are already old Jesus is not for people like you but the man continue to shout that is why you must get it by force in this solution program God has also to say you must get it by force don't allow anybody around you to discourage you your time has come your time is not my time my time is not your time this is my time i don't know about you somebody shout this is my time this is my time the blind Bartimaeus, he refused to give up. He took a step of faith. He fell on the ground. He took a step of faith. He fell on the ground. They were pushing him away, but he refused to give up. He shouted, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus had his voice. Today, my Jesus will hear your voice. My Jesus will hear your voice. My Jesus will hear your voice. I say he will hear your voice. Amen. He will hear your voice. Amen. When Jesus had his voice, he yes. said, Bring him here. Bring him here. And they took him to Jesus. When he got there, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said that I might receive my sight. And Jesus touched his eye. And his eye were open. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is here because of you. Jesus is standing before you now to open your eye so that you can experience your breakthrough. You can get your answer. You can get your victory. You can get your solution. You can get your solution. You can break into your ministry. You can break into your career. That you can begin to succeed, succeed in whatever you are into. Your eye needs to be open. Jesus is here to do that. If he did it for the bread Bartimaeus, he can do it for you. Yes, sir. So this gentlemen that Bartimaeus problem was a spiritual problem Jesus was the man who is the head of principalities and power he cure his case he can also cure your own every area you are blinded oh my Jesus is opening your eye from now Amen. my Jesus is opening your eye from now Amen. is opening your eye from now Amen. John chapter 1 verse 9 John chapter 1 verse 9 and John chapter 9 John chapter 9 verse 1 there was a man that was born blind one day this man was born blind the parents were tired of him all they could do put him on the bus stop to beg for money every day when he beg for money they use that money to feed the worst is that those who are blind the money they beg the family don't use the money to take care of them but the family use the money on themselves that's what it why because he's a blind man he doesn't know what is happening to be blind is dangerous to be blind is frustrating hear me everyone hearing me now every area and that person is using what belongs to you to enjoy himself because you have been blinded for today you are liberated hey, man. if you put a greater amen your vibration has come now hey, man. John chapter 9 Jesus disciples saw the man they asked Jesus why is this man blind Jesus says they said is it because of his sin or the sin of his parents Jesus said this man have not seen the parents have not seen but that the name of God might be glorified and Jesus called the man Jesus said 
I will do the work of my father while it is day and while it is night cometh. Now he said, Come, and the man came, and Jesus spat on the ground, used the spit to, to rub his face, and the man to wash, and the man washed, and the man began to see. Hear me, people of God. No matter what I be done to you spiritually, that made you wretched, that made you hopeless, that got you frustrated, that made you to be stagnated, that make you set back, that make your life to remain the same place from year to year. In this God of solution, that yoke of blindness is getting scattered out of your life. Even your destiny helpers who are blinded towards you, each time they see you, they don't have the mind to help you. Beginning from now, that blindness in their mind towards you, it is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you remember Genesis 21? Genesis 21, verse 17. Ladies and gentlemen, God, Abraham, God spoke to Abraham to allow Ishmael and his mother Hagar to go. Are you hearing me? And Abraham prepared for Ishmael and his mother and asked them to go. Hagar, he gave them bread and bottle of water. He asked them to go and Ishmael went and his mother, they went into the wilderness. They wonder. They never knew where they were going to. They were hopeless. Ladies and gentlemen, the water finished in the wilderness. The bread finished in the wilderness. Ishmael was hopeless. Hagar was hopeless when Ishmael was crying. He was crying, mother, I'm about to die. I need water. I can't see water to drink, mother. Mother, give me water. When Hagar saw that Ishmael was crying, he was about to die. Hagar put Ishmael on the ground. He said, this my son. You will not die before my eye. Hagar went forward. He went to sit down. She began to cry because she was confused. But listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me. Near where Ishmael was on the ground, there was a well of water there. But Ishmael guy did not see the water. He guy was blinded. He was she was blinded. He didn't see the water. She was crying. Ishmael were crying. He guy was asking God, why is my life like this? No water to drink. No water for my son. No food for my son. Oh God, why have you put me in this condition? He guy was complaining. We are blaming God. There are many of us today who are in that condition. But your solution is rightly by you. What you need to do is for your eyes to be open. Ladies and gentlemen, when he guy cried unto God, the Bible says and God opened the eyes of Hagar. Hagar saw the water. God opened Hagar's eye. He saw the well of water. Ah! He said, I have been here. I never see this. Hear me? Your cry will touch God to open your eye. Hey, man. Your cry will touch God to open your eye. Hey, man. God opened the eye of Hagar. And Hagar saw the water. He took water and gave to the son. The son that would have died came back to life. Hagar himself, herself, came back to life. Hear me? You will not die in this condition. Hey, you will not die in this condition. Hey, man. That voice that is always saying to you, this is how you are going to die. You are a hopeless man. You are a hopeless woman. That voice reminds you of what happened to your father. Of what happened to your sister. What happened to your uncle. What happened to your family. Look at how this one is frustrated. Look at how this one died. Look at how this one is bad look at that this one is poor this one is don't have child this one is having problem you you will also have that problem i have come with the anointed power of god hey. that that voice speaking to you yes sir that demon speaking to you hey. that power speaking to you yes sir to blind your heart hey. to blind your eye hey. begin it from now yes sir i silent your voice in your life yes. hey. I silent your voice in your life. Amen. This is a God of solution. Yes, sir. Every solution your life requires. I As you hear the sound of my voice, I command that solution to invade your life now. Amen. 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 Invade your life now. Invade your life now. Invade your life now. Somebody shut my eye. Be your bond. 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 My eye. Be upon, 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 be upon
heart be upon, be upon my eyes be upon, be upon my eyes heart be upon, be upon. I need my eyes to be open. I carry many blindness from year to year. I carry somebody said I can't remain in this condition. I can't remain in this condition. I am not hearing you. I can't remain in this condition. <laughs> if this is the thing God do for your life in this first day of this program, God has done a great thing in your life. To open your eye to see where you are going to in life. To open your eye to do the right thing in life. To open your eye to do the right thing in life. To open your eye to do the right thing in life. To open your eyes to do the right thing in life. Somebody shout my eyes. Be open. My eyes. Be open. Put your two hands in your eyes. My eyes. My eyes. Be open. Be open. My eyes. My eyes. Be open. Be open. Open your mouth and pray on your eye now. Command your eyes to be open. Command your eyes to be open. My eyes be open. Every spiritual blindness in my eyes, I decree be open. Every in, blindness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. In Jesus' name. See that Numbers twenty-two. I'm writing off. Numbers twenty-two, verse twenty-three. The Bible says, "When Balak hired Balaam to go and put a curse." Upon the people of Israel, it, Balak said, "Come and help me to put a curse upon these people, so that they will be useless, so that I will defeat them." Ladies and gentlemen, when Balaam, let me summarize it: when Balaam was on the journey to go and place the curse, the Lord sent an angel with a sword on the way. Balak, Balaam's eyes were closed, but the ass, the Akasi that was carrying Balaam. Saw the, uh, saw the angel with sword. Balaam did not see. God opened the eyes of the horse, the ass, to see the angel with sword on his hand. If God can open the eye of horse, God can open your eyes. That from today, you will never fall into the trap your enemy has set for you. When Balaam began to beat the horse, he said, horse, take me forward now. He began to beat the horse. After, again, God opened the mouth of the horse. Horse began to talk like a human being. He said, Balaam, you are my master. I have been carrying you for many years. Have I ever behaved like this? Balaam said, no. He said, why are you beating me? Balaam said, because you have disappointed me. Why you refuse to move now? And the horse said, are you not seeing the angel? With sword that want to kill us in front. And as Balaam raised up his head, God opened the eye of Balaam. He saw the angel with sharp sword to kill him. And Balaam fell on the ground. Listen, where am I going to? If God can open the eyes of Anima, can God open your eyes? Yes, sir. God spoke to Anima like a human being. Can God also open your eyes? Yes, sir. He can open your eyes. This God of Solution Crusade, beginning from now, everyone hearing me, you shall no longer know what is blindness anymore. Hey, man! Second Corinthians 3.14 Bible says many are blinded in their heart. That is why there are some people, their mind does not think good thing. It's also bad, bad thing they are thinking. It's also bad, bad thing. Why? Because their mind is blinded. They don't see any good thing. It's also bad negative thought all the time. It's in the Bible. He said this is not the will of God. When you are taking bad, bad thing, Satan is the chairman of your mind. He make you do that to destroy you because what you think is what you become. When you think fear, bad, bad thing, you will never be free. Good thing will never come to you. Satan is the one that is destroying people's life with this by putting negativity into their mind. Beginning from now. Your mind shall no longer be blinded. Hey, man. That spirit of bad thinking, bad thought. You are taking bad bad towards yourself. Ow. You are taking bad bad towards your children. Ow. You think bad bad towards your husband. Ow. Towards your family. Ow. Every time you think negative towards your business, 
you are taking back you are taking that you can never get married in life oh you are taking you can never have children in life oh you are taking you can never have money in life oh you are taking you can never build a house of your own in life oh you are taking you can never ride a car of your own in life oh you are taking you can never travel out in life oh you are taking you can never buy a land of your own in life oh that is satanic beginning from now that devil that blind your mind i rebuke him out of your mind in the name of jesus amen I rebuke that devil out of your mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shall Lord. Open my eyes. Shout us to our feet. Zia Masahu. He said I should stop. Lepro, I cut not the message tomorrow. The Lord said I should stop. Le Brazito Rima Hasha Tarabazori Aria Zaka. Oh Satan, pack your load and go. Satan, pack your load and go. Satan, pack your load and go. Jesus' name. Satan, pack your load. Pack your load and go. Oh, Satan, pack your load and go. Satan, pack your load and go. Jesus' name. Oh, Satan, pack your load. Pack your load and go. Open your mouth. Oh, Satan, back your Lord. Every property of Satan in your life that never allow your life to be better. That spirit of blindness, blindness, blindness. Madam, how are you? Come, you, come. How are you, madam? Eh? It is well with you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. You see, they have delayed you so much in life. And I'm seeing you, you cry, you cry, you cry, and you are complaining. Too much complain in your life. And at the end, people still blame you. So I'll tell you, you are the cause of what you are going through. Eh? You have yes. faced several disappointments, yes, rejection. Yes, and and yes, the worst is that what is attacking you in your dream is so much. That the more you pray, the more they attack you. Yes, sir. Am I talking to you? Yes, sir. Where are your children? Them, sir. You are going to pray so that God Almighty will protect your children. Amen. Because the sign you are getting in your dream, in your dream concerning your children is always bad. Yes, the enemy wants to take your children from you. But God will never allow this. Amen. So all this complaint that every time you start, when you start to go up, you fall. When you start to go up, you fall. Enough is enough. Amen. So the Lord God Almighty is going to bring you out of this mess. Amen. And today marks the end of this disgrace. Amen. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Sister, how are you? Thank you. Oh, look. I am seeing you cross a bridge. As at the middle of the bridge, the bridge collapsed. What's the meaning of this? You plan your life. You plan your life. But it is not the way you plan your life that your life is responding to you. Yes, sir. Life 
is it seems life is disappointing you. Yes, sir. No, that is not enough for you to give up. Don't be discouraged. Yes, sir. There is a, I'm seeing a better opportunity for you. Amen. Before you from now, because a new door. I'm seeing a door. In the spiritual realm, the door is glass door. That angel is about to open for you now. Amen. Now your eye needs to be open. When your eye is open, you will not be complaining and be crying. Amen. Because this cry you are crying is not the cry you are supposed to cry. Yes, you are supposed to pray, God, open my eyes to know where you are taking me to. Yes, what happened to you happened to you because God was involved. Now, this direction is a new direction. Watch. It's a new experience this year in totality. Amen. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Madam, how are you? It is well with you. Yes, sir. If not because of God, look at 1, 2, May, June, May, June, July, 2017, you would have been dead. Yes, sir. It's true, sir. May, June, July, 2017, if not because of God, you would have been dead. It's true, sir. Because yes, I see coughing, I see coughing, but the angel came, scattered the coughing. Yes, sir. It's I true, see sir. grave, the dog, the angel came, covered the grave. May, June, July, these three months, if not because of God, you would have been dead. It's true, sir. It's just the hand of God that rescued you. Yes, sir. Why this? This is spiritual attack. Yes, sir. Because they just want to destroy you. Yes, sir. You didn't do anything, but for your good, they are attacking no, you. Baba. So, yes, it's true. Eh? It's true, sir. Worry not. Worry not. Now, the battle is no more your battle. The battle belongs to God. The Lord said he is going to fight for you from now. Amen. And watch it from now. The area they have attacked you, God has given you victory in totality. Amen. So you see that in the night you cannot sleep. It's true, sir. In the night you cannot sleep. It's true, sir. You are troubled, you are troubled, and your mind tells you you will soon die. You will soon die. Yes, you will sir. soon die. Yes, sir. Listen, the Lord said, death is not your property. Amen. So watch it from now. I will touch you as God is instructing me. You will sleep like a newborn. Before this program ends, you will testify. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. I'm free. Sal, how are you? How are you? Five. It is well with you. Amen. Okay. Now, where is your father? My father. Your father? They are dead. Your father? Died. It is well with you. Amen. Your father died, but you, people who are dead, they come to you in your dream. Yes. You begin to see people who are people who don't die in your family. Yes. You begin to see them in your dream. Yes. Remember small, they will be eating with you in the dream. They want to make covenant with you so that they will also make you die prematurely. Because this kind of premature death is common in your family. Listen, the Lord God Almighty said he has given you long life. That you will not die the same way others die. Amen. Eh? You will not die the same way others die. Amen. That is that one. Two, they remove money out of your hand. Yes. God bless you before. Yes. But before you know it, you don't know how the money disappear. They all disappear now. You say what? All disappear. You don't know how it disappear. Everything disappear. Yes. Everything disappear. It's true. My father. Eh? It's my father. Your father. Yes, sir. Everything disappear. Yes. And you have been struggling. You are asking yourself a question. How? 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 It's how? True. Eh? It's true. How? 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 Yes. What did happen? What did happen? Nobody can tell you what did happen. No. What did happen? No. What did happen is this. Listen. Your one, two, your grandfather have uh, what uh, idol? Your grandfather has idol. Yes. That idol, your father was consecrated to that idol, and all that he will ever have. And your father joined your grandfather to serve that idol. And this is where the attack came from. You are the descendant of your father, and you are connected to the idol. The idol is what took away your money. Do you not see that when you were having money then in the dream, they come to collect money from you in the dream. They'll be collecting money from you in the dream. Yes. In the night where you sleep. They collect money from you in the dream. And many a time, they'll be pursuing you in the dream. They'll begin to pursue you in the dream. What is pursuing you? Who have you done wrong? You have not done anybody wrong. But what they have in the family that is not of God, this is what disorganize your life. As it disturbs you, it disturbs your children. It is not your fault. Today, give your life to Christ. Hey. Amen. God has been fighting for you. Amen. If not God, you won't be alive today. Amen. But to God be glory, we give thanks to God Amen. that today you are alive to give your life to Jesus Christ. Yes. So say this after me. Lord Jesus, 
Say this after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. I resign. I resign from every covenant. From any covenant. My grandfather. My grandfather entered into. Entered to. From every covenant. From any covenant. My father. My father entered into. Entered into. I bring myself. I bring myself and my children. From my children into the covenant. You don't have covenant of the blood of Jesus. Of blood of Jesus. 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 Open my way. Open my way in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus become the Lord of your life for today. It is well with you. Huh? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm safe. I'm free. I'm free. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. My father is free. Madam, how are you? Huh? Thank you. Where's your husband? He's in workshop. He's in workshop. Yes, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Thank you. There has been trouble in your marriage. Yes, sir. And it is God that has been keeping your marriage till now. Yes, sir. Because your marriage, the enemy wants to scatter your marriage. Yes, sir. They want your marriage to scatter. Yes, sir. So that you, you will go home empty, you and your husband separate. Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. eh? Yes, sir. Mama, who are you to her? Eh? Now my picking, now my picking. Your picking? What yes. do you have put to your marriage? Uh, no, be so much. Since last year, your husband ran come out. Nana, come out so but now, now, the marriage now, he bases her. He still lock up. No, all boys, all of them run away. Now, the pure water, I did they say they feed the children. Pure water? Eh. Uh, now, they say, uh, they feed the children. So, you heard my run come out? No, not by come out. You see, they did there, but nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. nothing. Mm. We marriage one scatter. Hey. Now God they keep them ever hey. since. Hey. So hey. worry not. The Lord God Almighty will heal your marriage from now. Amen. Eh? Amen. So by the grace of God, the Lord wants to heal your marriage and restore your marriage. Amen. That from now the glory of your marriage will come back again. Th thank you, Father. Turn Jesus name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Look here, come on, madam. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank, thank you, Jesus. My daughter is free. Madam, sir. how are you? Fine, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You know, money doesn't meet money in your hand. You have yes. problem in your finance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you give you money, you put money in business now. Small time, you can't account for that money again. Yes, sir. Eh? True, sir. So the Lord, eh? True, is true. So God wants to end this battle in your life. Amen. Eh? Yes. Turn! 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 Continue to watch. It's happening left and right. Okay. So, worry not. You will see the hand of God from now. Thank you. Yes, Hello, God. sister. How are you? Thank God I'm free. Praise the it Lord. It is well with you. Thank you. Okay. Whatever that's power, there's a power that troubles you in your dreams. Yes, it sir. It comes to claim you as a wife. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Come to claim you as a wife and it disturbs your physical marriage. Yes, sir. So today is the end of this power in your life. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Take her out. Come on. Out. Out. Hello, how are you? So from now, this power will never be able to claim ownership of you anymore. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free at last. Oh. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Eh? I'm fine, sir. It is well with you. Thank you, sir. Anything trouble, avoid it. Okay, sir. Anything trouble, your family should avoid it. Okay, sir. If your family are making trouble because of you, it will affect you. Okay, sir. Eh? Okay, sir. Anything trouble, you avoid it. And it is trouble, your family, avoid it. Yes, sir. If your family made trouble because of you or you made trouble, it will affect you. Yes, sir. There is a great future before you. Yes, Be sir. patient and work out your future. Yes, Thank sir. you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, you Jesus. Will not suffer, you will not suffer what your mother suffered. Amen. 
your, your, what your mother suffer is about to reflect in your life as well. So the Lord God Almighty will separate you. Where's your mother? She's in the village. Mm -hmm. If it's about to reflect in your life, the Lord will separate you from this uh, manipulation. It's not of God. Amen. Eh? Amen. Thank you. And you know, you, 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 you love your mother so much. Yes, sir. Your mother loves you so much as well. Yes, sir. And now your mother is having health challenge. Yes, sir. Your mother is sick. Yes, sir. He's sick. The Lord will heal your mother. Amen. So you will not also go from sickness to sickness. Amen. The Lord will heal you. And this masquerade in, this, in your dream shall be separated from your life. Amen. Thank you. Trouble. Don't pray. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Eh? You said? I'm fine. Eh? I'm fine, sir. You are fine? What concerns you with snake in the dream? Snake. That you, 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 too, what concerns you see different, some, have you guess it says in the dream? So, I say says in the dream. Yes. Yes. Eh? yes, yes. They have sex with you in the dream. And yeah. this is destroying your destiny. And sometimes when you wake up in the morning after this mess up now, you'll see your body physically, you'll see spam in your body. So this is attack to frustrate you that anything you put hand, it will never work. Your life will be unstable. It's cause. So the Lord God Almighty will bring you out of this affliction. Eh? Yes, sir. So thank you. It is well with you. Draw yourself closer to God so that you can live a free life with God. Thank you. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. John! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Madam, free. how Thank are you? Jesus. Thank you. Okay. The door that has been locked for a long time against your husband is open. Thank you, Jesus. Where's your husband? The door is open. Man. Okay. Your man's not here. There's a prayer I want to pray for him. Okay. It is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Picture different. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Madam, how are you? Thank you, eh? Jesus. My husband is free. Thank you, Jesus. You will not give birth to babies that will die. Jesus. Talk to me. Amen. What happened? I gave him discouraged. Speak out. I gave him discouraged. You have suffered miscarriage, miscarriage, yes, sir. miscarriage. Yes, yes, sir. Eh? yes, sir. But the Lord lead me, the Lord opened my eye about you now to tell you that from now, all those miscarriage, that baby is over in your life. Amen. So I don't know you, but God knows what you are going through. He sent me to you to tell you, you will no longer have dead babies anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ten. Thank you, Father. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is well with you. You are troubled because your children. You are troubled because your children. And you cannot do it by power. God has come to help your children. Amen. So worry not. Where the area where they are stagnated, God will release them from now. Amen. Eh? Amen. And that is that as well. Too. You are always having uh, uh, bad signs in your dream. And this attack on you you see sign of idol in the dream don't have sign they are disturbing you in the dream it's not of god once it, you are having this sign it will be affecting your children as well so god almighty will separate you from this darkness Amen. thank you god bless you turn come on turn turn come on talk about camera Okay. okay. Your, where's your business, madam? Your business is dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your yes, business sir. is dead. That is very, eh? very, very. Very, very. Yes. So the Lord has opened my eye. God said He wants to bring life back to your business. Amen. Turn. 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 Hello. How are you? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See, come. Where's your father? 
It's late, sir. Your father is late. late There's a covenant your father entered. And this covenant is not good. It's affecting the family. Yes, sir. So the Lord God Almighty said to break this covenant. Thank you, Be Jesus. close to God. This your, that's why all your father's children, marriage, they always have problem in marriage. Yes, sir. Problem, 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 yes, problem, sir. problem. Yes, to pay bride price is another big piece. Yes, sir. They don't pay their bride price. Yes, it's a case. So God Almighty will avenge you from now. Amen. Eh? Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Come up. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. My family is free. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, who is Lorenta? Madam, how are you? Thank you. It is well with you. Amen. Okay. So, worry not. God has settled you. Amen. Thank you. Where's your husband? It's not around. Eh? It's not around. So, worry not. God has settled you. Don't be afraid of the future anymore. Amen. It's a settled case. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. My husband is free. Thank you. Oh. You will not go through operation. Amen. There is affliction that is threatening you that if you go to hospital, you tell you, say, you are going to do operation. Yes, something is moving in my stomach. I don't know what You said? Something they move for inside my belly. I don't know what they move. Something is moving your stomach. Yes. Okay. The anointing water I'm going to give everyone. They are going to give you anointing water in this program. Take it and you flush it out. Amen. Open your stomach. Remove your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Continue to watch. You still have playing live and direct. The one program of the okay. God of Solution. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Who traveled out of the country? Eh? My mother. Who traveled out of the country? My mother. Your mother? Yes, sir. Your mother? Yes, sir. I am saying complain. Yes, Too much sir. complain. Yes, Too sir. Too much complain. Too much complain. Yes, sir. It's Why true. is she complaining? Ever since she traveled, she has not been making anything. She's been through a lot of pain, she's, suffering. She's going through a lot of pain. She's suffering. Yes, sir. She, she traveled. She's. She always complains to me. Tell me to pray for her. She tell you to pray for her. Yes, sir. The mercy of God will speak for her now. Amen. It is well. Turn, turn, out. Let her down. Don't drag her. Hey. You been to work before. Out. 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 Jesus Christ. Tom, bring up. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Uh, you said? I said God bless you, sir. God bless me? God bless you too. Thank you, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Okay, thank you. Now, see, God will open your eye now. I am seeing you on the direction. The direction is full of obstacles, yes, hindrances, yes, obstruction, yes, too many disturbances, yes, and you are confused. So, you, you have the calling of God yes, sir. to be a pastor, yes, sir. precise evangelist. Yes, sir. But there are disturbances. Yes, you need grace to overcome this. Yes, sir. Huh? What are you doing for a living? I'm a pastor, sir. Huh? I'm a pastor, sir. Uh, so, God that, Almighty. That, that was what brought me all the way from Lego. God has been showing me. You today. said? That was what brought me all the way from there. God, God has been showing me that you are going to be my method. Yeah, I come here, then I will go. From you came from Lagos? All the way from Lagos, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. God showed you that I'm going to be your mentor? Yes, yeah, several occasions. I'll be seeing you. Where, where, where are we seeing? In my revelation, sir. In your revelation? Yes, sir. Okay, we will meet. So, I pray for you today. God will give you grace to overcome all these obstacles. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. For the angel intervention, angelic intervention from now yeah. in Jesus' name, yeah, amen. amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. 
Hello, how are you? What is your wife? She's in Port Harcourt. Talk to me. What is your wife? She's at home, sir, in Port Harcourt. She's in Port Harcourt. Yes, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Sir. God bless you. Thank you. Now, I will pray for you so that God will help you. You need the help of God. Yes, sir. Like the message I preached today, you need God to open your eyes. Yes, sir. Because you are in obscurity. Mm. You don't know the direction to go. Yes, sir. In obscurity, and also, you you are called, you are an apostle. Yes, sir. I'm uh, the one that called you. The apostle. Wait, you, are, you said? I'm the one that called you, the apostle from Portaco that has called me. You call me? Yes, the apostle from Portaco that always call you. I'm no, the person. Okay, you are here today. Yes, sir. You are apostle. Yes, sir. Okay. So, by the grace of God Almighty, as we are here today, God is going to give you the oil Amen. to move. Amen. That's why I came. I want to submit under you and be a partner. So, now God has led me to you and God is going to bless you Amen. and to give you the oil to go. Amen. Eh? Amen. So, Apostle, you are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Yes, so sir. you also join us as evangelist. Yes, sir. You yes, are evangelist. Sir. Yes, sir. From Potaiko too, sir. Potaiko too. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, as I shake you, I have the sign. I have the sign of each calling by the grace of God. So don't worry. You are come uh, to receive grace. Yes, sir. Yes, as sir. As you receive grace, you submit to be sons and sons. Yes. Sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. So by the grace of God Almighty, I will pray for you. You have the oil to go. Amen. Eh? Thank Amen. you. In the mighty name of which. You are an evangelist, but you are always facing attack in your dreams. Yes, yes. Too they much trouble of you. Them. Eh? Too much of them, sir. They attack you in the dreams so much. Yes, sir. So don't worry. From now, there is a prophetic matter the Lord have asked me to consecrate. You see, now tomorrow that matter will be out. Yes, sir. You get that matter, put that matter in your face, twenty-one night and pray. Yes, you will see the glory of God. Amen. So, uh, pastors, members, this grace is free to all. So get set, eh? So don't worry, this attack is ending now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. You will flourish as evangelist. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Hello, how are you? Eh? So God moved me from that end to come and meet you. Now, I have come to meet you. Amen. One, you are always afraid that you are going to die. You are always afraid of your tomorrow. Because yes, things sir. looks it looks uncertain. Tomorrow looks uncertain to you. Yes, sir. You are always afraid of your tomorrow. Yes, and because sir. you are always afraid of your tomorrow, it's making you to suffer nightmare. Yes, when you look around your family, what's happening in your family, you will be discouraged. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. When you see what's happening in your family, you will be discouraged. Yes. As sir. if there's no future for you. Don't worry yourself, there's future for you. Amen. Come, the Lord has sent me to bless you. The Lord sent me to bless you. So worry not. As we grow close to God, the Lord will show you mercy. Eh? <coughs> Thank you, Father. <coughs> Thank you, Father, Lord. All right, yeah. My man, how are you? Fine. Thank you. Welcome. God bless you. Demo. Ah. Hey, please. Who is Idemo there? It's on photograph. It's a young man on photograph. You have the photograph here, Idemo there. Thank you. Come, where well, Idemo there is the name. It's on photograph. Thank you. Mama, it is well with you. Amen. So don't worry. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. This battle in the family, it is top now. Amen. There is battle in the family. There is battle in your family. And this battle is giving you concern. All my you children, are, they, they hate me. Eh? All my children abandon me. All your children abandon you. Yes. Worry uh, not. Only, only two of the lads they take off me. Only two of take care of you. Yes, I'm, I know where my leg now more for years now. Where's they pay me to die? Oh. To walk out and walk. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to heal you at the prayer line. I don't feel they do anything. I don't feel they go anywhere. I don't feel they'll get up. Okay, don't worry. Wow. That's why God sent me from that side to come and meet you. Amen. This battle in this family from now Amen. we end. Amen. Worry not. Amen. God has remembered you. Amen. Eh? Amen. So sit down. Jesus, blessed be the name of the Lord. Mama, take. Open it. Because I'm seeing you coming here, share your testimony now. Take it. You say your waist is paining you. Take it now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that waist be healed. <laughs> 
So that the Lord said that battle in your family is ending now. Amen. So God said, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Madam, how are you? It is well with you. Thank you. It is well with you. Where's your first son? He went to school. Don't ever take and, and if they tell you your first son should come, they want to train him for you to give it to somebody. Don't do it. If you yes, do it, it is the dead body they will bring back. Yes, sir. This your first son is very brilliant. Yes, sir. It, it, there are some, if he do some things, you will be surprised. Yes, sir. There are some things he does. Things adult will do. This yes, much child will do it. Yes, sir. Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. Take care of this child by yourself. Yes, Don't sir. ever give this child to stay with anybody. Yes, you take. Either you are drinking Gary, give a Gary drink. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. This your first son. Don't send the child out to anybody. To anybody. Yes, take sir. care of the child because yes, this is the pillar of the family. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. My son is free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. How are you? Fine, eh? Thanks, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Grace be unto. Oh, where's your husband? Not married. Why? Enough is enough. It has been one, two, three disappointment. Several, 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 yes, several. When your relationship, the person you are relationship with will not begin to have nightmare about you. What you are not is what the enemy project towards uh, the person you are going with. So don't worry, your time has come. Amen. Whatever God has not planted in your life is going to be rooted out from now. And you are going to live a victorious life for now from these manipulations in the dream. Thank you. Turn! Come on, turn! Turn, come on, Jesus' name. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! Out! Jesus Christ of Lord. Come here. Jesus' name. If you have watched the case of the sister, the power behind this appointment at the edge of my entire settlement, Jesus Christ setting her free. Take! Take! Come on! The out! Watch the spirit behind this appointment. It's going out to the name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen and see our reaction. This is the power of God at work. The name of Jesus Christ setting her free. Using the medium of the man of God, Pastor P.I. Obasaki. Just by I pray for everyone today. Whatever that is stopping you from becoming the will of God, oh. such be deleted out of your life in the name of Jesus. Hey, Amen. Sister. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Sit down, people of Jesus, God. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm saying your marriage. It is well with you. So Amen. worry not. God has signed it. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Glory. How are you? I'll pray for you against the spirit of anger. Yes, you know what is anger? Yes, sir. Okay. Watch the power of God hitting her, separating her from the spirit of anger. I pray for you today. I receive. My God will open your eye to greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Via watch. The spirit of anger going out of her to the name of Jesus Christ. You can see she's not comfortable. The power of God is on her. Remember the spirit of anger has caused her so many things that is not of God. But watch right now. Jesus Christ is separating her from the spirit of anger. The demon behind anger is going out through the name of Jesus Christ. Watch prophecies bringing her deliverance from the spirit of anger. See her vibrating. Just as the man of God is moving his hands, you can see her vibrating. The power of God, the anointing of God has been packaged inside the man of God to set her free. Watch as she's vibrating. Jesus Christ is losing her, separating her from the spirit of anger. Continue to watch the power of God using the man of God, Pastor P. Ayobasaki. In the day one of the God of Solution program here in Divine Grace of Glory Church, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. The anointing power of Jesus Christ through the man of God is setting her free. 
Remember, no one can resist the anointing of Jesus Christ. This is my anointing is raising her. This is my anointing is setting her free. Watch. Wherever you are, every mark Satan has placed on you to make you his own. Out! To get you blinded. Out! By the blood of Jesus, that mark is eradicated out of your life. Amen! Where is Idemodia? Sit down. It's on photograph. I said photograph. I will talk to you now about Idemodia. Yes, sir. Mama, do you know what? Yes, sir. The, the Idemodia is a, a young man. Idemodia has grown to get married. Huh? Yes, sir. But they are disturbing his marital life. But now, the Lord said, the yoke is broken. Amen! Where is Idemodia? Where is his wife? Idemudia never marry. Thank you. It is to marry, never marry. You say? It is to marry. It don't pass in 20, 30, 70 years. He not get marry. He not get marry. The Lord said they are disturbing his marital life. But the Lord said the chain that chain him is what? Broken. Amen. Thank you. He's free. Thank you, Jesus. Them that are free. Them that are free, Jesus' name. I stretch forth my right hand. Everyone that behold me from now, every area you were suffering in life, my God will open your eye to come out of that suffering in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every area you have been facing hardship, difficulties, frustration, stagnation, setback, Poverty in life, sickness, reproach. Right now, I pray for you. I receive. My God, we open your eye to come out of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every hands lifted unto you, I command these hands to receive anointing for breakthrough. Father, you said they are not going to live the life they lived before. Rather, they are going to live a better life from now as they lift up these hands oh lord as a sign of helplessness unto you whatever you open their eye to do from now as they get themselves committed to it my father prosper and increase them in the name of jesus christ prosper and increase them in the name of jesus christ prosper and increase them in the name of jesus christ lord this is the god of solution crusade it's a period you attend to people. It's a period you make positive mark in people's life. It's a period you touch lives, you touch destiny, you touch marriages, you touch families, so that they experience total turnaround. I pray, Father, that everyone in this God of Solution Crusade let their lives never remain the same. Amen. Let their families never remain the same. Let their children never remain the same. Amen. Let their marriages never remain the same. Amen. Let their career never remain the same. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I bless you today. The Spirit of God will continue to intervene over your case. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching More Grace TV broadcasting live from Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Visit us at our International Worship Center, Edunga Town, off Benin Auchi Road, Edo State, Nigeria, or 40 Ajay Street, off Obale, New Benin, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. More Grace.